hi guys so I am here to share um, a project with you um, this is a video response to Christie's challenge she is twins for me too here on YouTube and um, she is doing a quick challenge uh, from a video that she saw um, and there are three prizes you don't have to mail anything in and it is due by the 31st of October. So, um, she, I will link the actual uh, video to um, her challenge and the video that she watched in the description box. Um, the challenge video of hers will show a link to the lady's channel. Um, and she challenged us to make a, a wallet a mini wallet. I'm sorry, I'm like trying to think of uh, the best way to describe this. She challenged whoever wanted to take part in making this mini, which is like a wallet. I decided to do a Christmas theme. And this is the, uh, I think it came out last year. I bought it about a year, it must have been last year that I purchased this set. It was the Bundled Up by Crepe Paper. One of my favorite, you know, I have such a weakness for crepe paper. So this is the uh, Bundled Up collection. I have the whole collection. For those of you guys who know me, um, when I see something like a paper collection I like, I have to buy all the the embellishments, the ephemera pack, that this and that. So worked out great because I wound up using, you know, a lot of my stash on this bundled up collection and uh, it looks great. I think it came out super cute. So, um, and I have a little tip at the end for some of the scraps left over. This is the, the wallet mini. This is one of the flares from the embellishment pack. This is, I don't know what this was called. Uh, it's not the ephemera pack, but it's like another um, embellishment pack. And it was already sewn and done this way. This is from the sticker borders. Um, one of the uh, design papers. And then you flap it open like this. And again, with the ephemera pack, I layered two of these together put some bling scattered around, and this already had sparkle on it, which says dashing through the snow. And I love this plaid, this particular, um, I think this is like a B-side to one of the sheets. Love that pattern. And then this is this die right here, which is several of um, Simon Says Stamps snowflakes. So I have the Melody, the Abbey, the Rylan, and the Alexis Snowflake from Simon Says Stamp. So that's what that is. And I cut those out and just put some red bling in the center. And then this is also, I punched a red piece of the cardstock, um, layered this from the ephemera pack, and then this is again one of the sticker borders. And then it comes down like this. Let me see if I can. Okay. And again, one of the larger Simon Says Stamp Snowflakes I just showed you. Another one here with the bling. This is from the paper collection as well as this. I took a piece of scrap from the back and I corner. I have a decorative corner. Uh, I don't know which one this is. I think it's the cloud and the scallop. So I decorated the corners, punched out the corners, <clears throat> excuse me, layered the winter. And then again, layered more of all the collection embellishments I have. That's super cute, this layered banner with the stitching. So it has three envelopes. So this is the back of the first one. Again, more layering. That's another stitched banner piece. Super simple there. I just um, layered two. These are all from the scraps of the 12 by 12. So I layered two pieces, the front side of the cardstock and the B side of that same uh, cardstock so that I could use up scraps. Here again, um, 
This was one of the ephemera pieces, made a little flag, put the frosty there. This is again a sticker border. And then this is one of my favorites too, super cute. The back side of one of the scraps. And here again, one of the stitched banners, super, super cute. Love this collection. Then I used one of my spell binders. I think this is the Pico Edge uh, Nest Abilities. Used one of the pieces from the collection. And then here, same thing, layered that. That says dated with a little bling piece. Another tag. Oh, I just love the colors in this collection and, you know, the imagery and just, I, I love crepe paper. And then here again, I use the stitch banners here. And I just made a simple little scene here with snow day, um, some bling all over here, like scattered like snow. This adorable image, she's so cute on her sled. Some of the uh, paper, the sticker border again, one of the trees, and this is my paper tray ink. Um, little star from the matchbox, uh, that kit that they sold. So yeah, that's it. So that's my um, wallet mini. That's my video response. And what I wanted to show you guys too, a little tip. Um, you wind up, when you cut down the envelopes, you have these little pieces of the envelope left over, and they are like pockets. So what I did was, when I made um, the hinges, I created three more hinges. And on this one, what I did was, I did the, you know, the three pockets. And then I took the hinges and I use those scraps from the envelopes. I punched the little thumb holes and I made three more pockets. So you can tuck in like tiny tags in here, um, receipts, more tags, and like, you know, memory pieces from whatever you choose to do uh, the theme in for your wallet mini. So yeah, that's a, that's a little tip for using up the scraps, and that way you have none of the envelope scraps left. So, I hope you like it. If you have any questions on what I used, um, or you know, if you have any questions for Christy, just watch her video and, uh, and click on the link and watch the lady. Um, she's very good, and she describes it really well. I think she's Swedish, but she puts the inches on the screen for you um, to follow. So, okay, guys, um, again, that's a quick look. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.